You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a new, I finally have someone at the Council on Aging that wants to come on TV. Okay? <laughs> we love Janice. We love Michelle, but they don't like TV. They don't like TV. No, they love to do the events with all the seniors. They do a great job there, but Carla DeRosa, one of my favorites. Is that why they send me? I think that's why. <laughs> they don't like TV. They'll go on TV. They'll have fun with us. They'll help us with TV. But putting them in the studio, nah. They'd rather be in the element over there. But you're, you, I think I think I like the lights. There you go. So you're you're, you're, you're going to be here on a regular basis. So Council on Aging, what a great place for you to end up. You you were in the mayor's office. You did a fabulous job over oh, there. Thank Everybody you. knew you over there, and you oh, were one of the faces you. at the front. Okay. But Council on Aging, I bet you the seniors are smiling every day. I bet they are. You know. I bet they are. So you having fun? <laughs> what is your actual job? What's your title? It's an assistant um, activity assistant. Okay. Cool. So a little bit of everything. Okay, and that place has something every day. There's always yes, something going. There's on. always something. So there. what's coming up? We're we're in we're in January. We're heading to February, March. What what's the things that you have that we're are looking? Up? Um, well, we have a bunch of come upcoming events. Uh, we have the Valentine's party. Mm -hmm. It's actually the 13th uh, instead of uh, actual Valentine Day. 13th, okay. And it's three dollars is uh, pizza and salad, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we have Tom Madden and a bunch of other fun activities. Uh, as you know, you have gone to uh, uh, parties, and I have gone when I was at the mayor's office, and it's some fun time, I it, tell you. I mean, between <laughs> the senior picnic, the St. Patrick's Day, now Valentine's Day, you're doing a Chinese New Year. Yes. There's, there's something all Always. the time. And there's, there's serious stuff and there's fun stuff. There's, yeah. there's um, uh, we were over there the other day for origami with Dr. Appling, who used to teach classes in the community schools to, to, to yeah. make it. And okay? she was my house master in there high you school. Go. And you, yeah. know what? you remember her? She was, she was a <laughs> tough little cookie. She had people that were six foot three that were afraid Stay of her. Hard. But she's a gem. She's a Brockton yeah, she, gem for yeah. sure. Okay, so the Valentine's Day party on the 13th. On the okay, 13th. Good to know. And I see something here about a ukulele demo. Tell me about that. Oh, we have, um, we actually booked it. Uh, we have a ukulele lady come and teach us how to play ukulele. And uh, it's free of charge. And I'll mm -hmm. uh, come down and sign up for it or give us a call. Um, we have activities on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm as astonished by the activities that go on. Mm -hmm. You know, unless you, you come down or you get our newsletter, and if you don't have a newsletter, feel free to give us a call. Um, it's 508-580-7811, yeah. and um, any one of the girls at the front desk, and most of our, uh, all of our volunteers are seniors, and mm -hmm. they do a fabulous job. I've only been there about three months, but let me tell you, uh, I have grown, my heart is, yeah. Now, I know, and uh, we'll, we'll talk to Janice a little bit more about this, but you guys are trying to expand that place. You're, 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 you're yes. trying to embark on a fundraising campaign to grow the place. I know we've read about other possible locations, but right now you're staying there and you're looking to expand. Right. How's that going? Are people helping out? Are they contributing? Do, do you yes. need help? Yes, we do need help. Okay, okay. <laughs> the more the merrier, I guess. Okay. I guess, yeah, we do need help. Um, and that's something you would have to speak to Janice. I'm just new aboard, so I don't know uh, all the details, but we're looking to expand. And I tell you, um, the only, uh, we have a lot of pros, but the con is, is because we have so many activities that we do want to, um, you can't really we don't have the space, yeah. And, and not do the activities because they won't have any place to go. Yeah. Right? Um, but. When there's a will, there's a way. They mm -hmm. told us at the library, I'm on the library board, oh, you can never expand that place. We expanded okay. it. We moved. We were in the old courthouse. We moved back. We added 48,000 yeah. square feet. So when there's a will, there's a way. There's no question about it. Now, in order to be at the Council on Aging, you have to be a certain age. What's that age? What's the young? 60. 60. Okay, so I got five. I don't meet that retirement. You don't meet that. <laughs> I'm, I'm five years away. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong. But um, I always, you know, cherish my grandparents. I, I was fortunate. I, I had four till I was 10. I had three till I was 18. And then I had two of them till I was 21. I actually moved down to Florida for a while to be with them, to get to know them a little better because I was the middle child. So oh. older brother knew everybody and I didn't know them as well. My, my grandfather on my mother's side passed away when I was 10, but I remember him very vividly. He was a very funny man. And my grandmother loved the Red Sox. I could sit and talk to her about okay. the Red Sox. She knew every stat, every score, every everything. Even when she was sick at the end, 
she still watched those Red Sox. She never got them to see them win again. I think she saw the 1918 win, okay. but not the not the uh, you know 1994 or 2004 or whatever. But um, so I have great memories of my grandparents, and over there, the stories you get over there, the oh people, my the, the 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 talents that they bring to the center of their own. Are amazing. It's amazing. I'm sure I, you hear I, stories every single day. And I even I, I even mentioned to one of the seniors yesterday, um, if I don't pick up a craft while I'm there, it would have been it would be a disservice to myself. Mm -hmm. Because you should see some of the stuff they knit, the painting. I could go on and on and on and I think you don't have enough minutes for me to go on. But it's they, they are so talented. Mm -hmm. And uh, the stuff they bring in, it's the jewelry, it's all, it's all sorts of stuff. We have a country store that's open on Thursdays. Mm -hmm. um, feel free to come and see some of the stuff. They do baby blankets, baby clothes. Um, I, I, that's just... Um, and the artwork's all up on the wall. Yeah. So. And then they display them all on, on Thursdays when they have the You guys have traditional the store. stuff there like bingo? Yeah, we have bingos on Friday. Okay, and um, you have meals, you know. We have meals, we have uh, the congregate meals, it's twice a week, it's uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, feel free to give us a call and sign up for those. Okay. Uh, we're actually having a lunch and learn, we have that oh, at least once a month. Right. They educate you on um, meals. You said to me before we were recording that they made, uh, made chopsticks. Yeah, we, we, we actually taught um, that we're doing uh, life's little lessons. Uh, we actually taught them how to do chopsticks. And on February uh, the 7th, which is coming up, um, we're actually teaching them, I'm actually teaching them how to do boutonnieres and corsages. Mm. I had, it was an experience. I was looking for one for my son and they only had like plain simple ones. So I went on, you know, the internet and I made a really elaborate one. So. And there are computers there, speaking of the internet. Oh, you guys have a computer Yeah, right we have a back. computer class, yeah. Now, you have a volunteer board that's appointed by the yeah. mayor, confirmed by the council, yeah. but there's also a friends of the board. council on aging, yeah. correct? Yes. Now, I'm assuming you can be a friend and you don't have to be 60 to be a friend. No, most of the, the those uh, you're, friends maybe are... Maybe you're a senior in training, <laughs> like me, right? But I, I know Richard Bath is, is, is on the council, on, yeah. the Friends of the Council it's on Aging Angie. Board. And, uh, you know, so, but we just love coming over there and seeing the events. Oh, we love having you guys. smiles on your faces and, and, you know. So one more time, phone number, and you have a website too, right? Yes. Okay, so tell us the phone number one more phone, time. Uh, phone number is 508-580-7811. And um, just to uh, let you know, we do um, have, uh, we provide outreach. Uh, we assist people with our paperwork. We have Dottie, Frank, and then Christie's there on Wednesday. They do a fabulous and job. And I've seen lawyers come in and yeah. talk about different topics, yeah. um, prescriptions, sheriff's office it's, with Operation Safe. So all the different, the, everything under the sun. Yes. Right? Everything we, well, we provide. We're glad you're there and we love working with you. Oh, thank you. So I love we'll being there. We'll have you back on a regular oh, basis. Oh, definitely. Thanks, I'll come back. Okay. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here on the City of Champions.